today I'm going to work with Itajime clamp resist. There will be four segments to our filming. The basics, variations and inventions, silk scouring with clamp resist, and then carved clamp resist. I hope you will enjoy these films and get lots of good ideas. Itajime is the Japanese word for clamp resist. Ita to fold, jime to clamp. So let's look at our various blocks and our clamps. Our basic shapes will be rectangles, squares, longer rectangles, medium rectangles, and triangles. In Japan, they actually put little nails in various spots on the block and wrap it very tightly with string to secure your clamped bundle of fabric. You could also have notches put into the wood, but I have found that they break off and snap after a period of time. So the tried and true is a C-clamp. And these come in various sizes and shapes and depth. So you could, this is a good strong one for larger blocks. Here's one little kind of medium. And then if you're doing very small pieces, you can get little small seat clamps. The solution may simmer, but avoid a hard boil as it will damage the silk. I find that 20 to 30 minutes is sufficient depending on the fabric used. When it's finished, rinse in Synthropol. If you aren't going to dye it, give it a final rinse in warm water and a linol vinegar. I think you can see the difference quite clearly. The off-white still has the Saracen. That's where the clamp prevented the scouring from going through the fabric. And where it is lustrous and shiny and light reflective and white, that's where the alkali took away the Saracen. The white on white is very beautiful in itself and I think very subtle. So you could really stop after the first step. I'm going to introduce a very exciting process using carved clamps. Carved clamps have a fascinating history and go back thousands of years. Many of the folk traditions had been almost extinct, except in China, and we will talk about China. Fortunately, there is revived interest both in Japan and in China. So let's talk about this history. I've worked primarily with my blocks cut with the stripes. I like the kind of challenge that you get when you have a limitation. And the stripes could be very boring, but even something as simple as offsetting the block on the diagonal creates the mirror image on the finished piece, which can be very nice, even as simple as it is. This is a scoured organza, and then it is put into walnut dye. And the walnut, of course, gravitates to the Saracen, giving the contrast between the design and the background. <music> 